Hey, what's up guys? This is gonna be a comprehensive tutorial how to add a messaging system when you press one button to send one message and then another button to say another. So think of you're in a meeting and you wanna notify people outside of your room or your office saying when you're busy or when you're not. So this should probably take you anywhere between 30 minutes to 60. So let's go ahead and get into this. All right, as we switch over to my Raspberry Pi view, this is going to be a diagram of what the Raspberry Pi Pico pins mean and the wiring diagram that I'm using. So by no means, I'm not an artist, but this is just to convey the message. And I did purchase a Utronic starter kit for getting started with MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll leave the link in the description but by no means this is not a sponsorship video at all this is just me jumping in and i want to learn this and this is the journey my current setup i have the raspberry pi pico connected to my raspberry pi but you could also do this directly onto your computer as long as you have a micro python set up so let's go ahead and open up Tani Python IDE. And you just wanna make sure on the bottom right that you do have MicroPython selected. And in this case I do. I already have preloaded the scripts that I need. So I'm gonna open up my file from the Raspberry Pi Pico. So there's gonna be two things we're gonna need. We're gonna need this I2C LCD driver I'm going to leave the link in the description as well. So you could just, all you really need to do is just copy and paste this in. We're going to go ahead and run it. Uh, it ran on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I'm going to open up my preloaded code that I already have to actually run the script. And you can name this anything you want. It does not really matter. Um, but for example, let's say you do write the code in and you want to save it. Make sure you save it onto the Raspberry Pi Pico name it accordingly, and then just add uh, .py at the end so that way it knows it's going to be a Python file. If you don't, it's going to automatically assume that's going to be a, a .txt. I'm going to be calling out my variables. So you can name these anything you want. In this case, I have LED underscore onboard. Uh, this is an indicator for me that as I'm testing, the LED on the Pico is going to light up and I just have it toggling if I if we look at line 17. Uh, essentially, I'm gonna log it saying, hey, uh, we're printing this onto this, uh, this shell down here or console shell. So let's go ahead and run this. And it's not gonna be on screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, my button one value. So I'm expecting it to say log and meeting. It does. I'm using Utime, so Utime is unique to MicroPython and local time. So today, the year is 2022, October 11th. It is 8.40 p.m. and at 51 seconds. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and press the second button and it's going through this iteration that I'm free. In 15 and 16, same thing with line 22 and 23, you could only put any message you really want. Just keep in mind the count of characters. Um, the LCD that I have, it's a 16 by two, so that means you have 16 characters and there's two lines. Here we're looking at line one and looking at line two. All right guys, I hope this helped you guys out and if there's any questions or any any things you guys are running into, just let me know in the comments below and then let's talk about it. My name is Andrew and I'll see you at the next video.